So the issues around um, the, the drawbacks and dangers associated with AI, I think, are, are increasingly um, uncovered in the popular press and in the news field. Um, they're considerable and they need to be thought about and regulators absolutely have a role to play. One of the, the features of the regulatory world in the AI space is that the perspective is different depending on where you sit and the perspective from a regulatory um, uh, position in Washington uh, or in Brussels will be different from that uh, uh, in uh, Shanghai or Beijing. Um, and it really stems from a difference in philosophical point of, point of departure and what you believe about the rights of the individual relative to the rights of the collective society. Um, this is going to be a feature of the AI world over the course of the next 20 years. There is no right or wrong answer. There are just shades of grey. My job as an investment manager is to make sure that we navigate our way through that, um, that period uh, in an informed and safe manner on behalf of our, of our um, fund holders. Um, Jeffrey Hinton you know, recently um, stepped back from his role at Google, saying a number of things about um, about his time as a, uh, as a as a researcher in the field of artificial intelligence systems. One of the most interesting things I think he said was um, concerned the uh, the similarities, or perhaps more importantly, differences between digital intelligence and biological intelligence and the importance of understanding that there are some fundamental differences between the two. And I think one of the biggest misapprehensions about AI stems from the conflation of um, human intelligence being uh, perfectly correlated with, um, with digital intelligence. It's not the case. Um, and the more um, informed and nuanced our understanding of um, artificially intelligent uh, systems becomes, um, I'm more hopeful in that circumstance that we end up with better regulatory outcomes and a better and more safely curated environment within which artificial intelligence systems can be delivered to the benefit of society as a whole.